He's going to throw that fastball about 70% of the time, Lynn. He is heavy on that heater, but it's got some really good giddy up to it. And no chance for rain today. The 3-2 pitch on the opening hitter. Upstairs, a strike has been assessed against Evans. And this ball gets away from Neal. It's going to allow the base runner to move up. Position LSU had him to 0 for 4. Ty Evans is late on that swing, and that's a strikeout. First and eighth innings have been the most productive. Ground ball hit to the left side. Braswell charges, transfers, fires, and the threat is over. He came into the season with 51 home runs over the course of two years. White takes his customary short lead from first. The pitch. Woo. That's a heater at 96, and it throws. That got away from the catcher, and White is able to move to second base. Up, no, 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 be no. Real. It, it, absolutely. There's a liner right into the glove of the second baseman, Curland. Gage jump, delivers, and took something off that pitch and gets the strikeout, his second of the game. And he goes back to the bender and records his second straight strikeout. That is a gorgeous sight. Swing and a miss. He takes care of business all on strikes. A smash into center field. That's the 11th base hit of the year for Jake Brown. It's the only LSU everyday player to return to the lineup. Thomas gets up throwing, and it gets by Caglione. Brown rounds third. Brown will score. And the Tigers, with the ball being thrown all over the infield, pick up a run and take the lead. The 3-2 pitch to White. In the dirt. He walks for the second time. The 2-2 to Pearson. Swing and a miss. And that ends the inning, but LSU, that will not go unnoticed from Major League scouts, will it? No, I mean, because that's what they want to see. And look. Maybe within two or three weeks, right? Yeah. From, I mean, from that surgery. Yeah, Jaden Newt had. That's a little upstairs, and the bases are loaded with nobody out. Braswell steps on second, pivots, fires to first, got the double play. That's about as good as you could hope for if you're a Tiger fan. The Gators do tie the game. The shift is on for the left side, and a liner up the middle, a clean base hit. The Gators take the lead. Dale Thomas loved the first pitch he saw and sizzles one up the middle for the go-ahead RBI single. At 0-2. Runner moving, and the batter is hit. And he hits it solidly on a hop to Milam. He'll go to the shortstop covering. Braswell gets the force out. 480 on base percentage by Trevinsky. Uh-oh. He blasts one deep to left field. It's way, way, way back. You can pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. Home run number six for Hayden Trevinsky. And on one swing, the Tigers have tied the Gators. Well, I tell you what, wind or no wind, and the wind is pushing in. That, my friends, is a long ball there. And Hayden Trubisky can do that, and that's why he is in this lineup. We've seen it in spurts. He's never really been an everyday player for LSU in his career, but in spurts, he has shown the ability to blow the ball out of the ballpark, and this is getting every stitch of one. You don't think he knew he had that one, Lynn? Braswell down in the count, nonetheless delivers a knock to right field. Milam at the plate. And there's a hot ground ball into right field, a base hit. Steven Milam turns on one and shoves Braswell to second base. The two-strike offering to Jake Brown with two teammates aboard. Bounced up the middle. Second baseman is short for one. The relay to first in time. Well, the gauntlet continues in the SEC for the Tigers. The next three series are at number one Arkansas. Vanderbilt, and then the Tigers go to Knoxville. But you got to wonder, he's having a pretty good night. Singled his first at bat. And all of a sudden, Gage jump is back on the beam for the Tigers against Peterson. 2-2 ball game. He smashes it. A rising line drive headed to the bleachers. You can pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. Mac Bingham.
Bingham has just banged his fourth home run. Look at that youngster. He's got a smile like he's got a coat hanger in his mouth. Uh, I don't get any better than that. A wow. souvenir and on top of that, a long ball souvenir. And boy, Mac Bingham has a short stroke to the baseball. Watch how short and tight and compact that swing was. Just direct to the ball, blows it out of the ballpark. His fourth long ball of the year, his 16th RBI, and the Tigers back on top of the Gators. A 3-2 pitch. Cold third strike on the outside corner. This ball is not coming back. Way, way, way back. You can pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. I'll tell you what, Ben McDonald, it would take a federal marshal, a bloodhound, and a subpoena to find that ball. <laughs> That's what you call, that is a bear bomb. They call him a bear. And that ball did not barely get over the right field wall. I'm talking, it looked like about 15 rows deep. And we're talking about opposite field. And watch this. That's some power. And a no doubter from Jared Jones. Make it nine long balls on the year, 22 RBIs. And the LSU has the long ball working. It just came up short on the warning track. That time, no miss. And a rip to left center field. Off the bat of Josh Pearson. He's on his way to second base. Pearson sliding. He's safe. And that moves his hitting streak to seven games. And that breaking pitch moves a little bit outside. Well done by Garrison. Here we go at 3-2, a smash to deep right field, but it's going to stay in the ballpark as Ty Evans doesn't have to move too far as he backs up to get it. Meanwhile, Gage Jump is trying to get the first batter here in the sixth, the 3-2 pitch right down Main Street. He came back and threw a very tidy fifth inning. And for the second straight time, well, if he gets through this inning, Ben, there's a liner that beats the shift into left center field. Bingham brings it back to the infield. He's ahead in the count, two strikes. And takes care of business as Malazzo comes up cleanly. Uh, I mean, defensively, I think he's the best center fielder LSU has. There's no doubt when he's in the lineup, LSU's better. I'm thinking you're pr probably a, for a pretty good fastball here. Very, so very good. Very good fastball, so I think I'd have to spin it a little bit. Runners on the move, and the tag is in time. And a base on balls to Mac Bingham. The one strike pitch to White. Blasted deep to left center field. Russell is on the move. He's got room and he makes the catch and struck out. White is chasing into foul ground and he's there and he's got it. And there is ball four. Alex hitting 333. And bangs one up the middle. On an 0-2 pitch, he's played as an opposite field hitter in the outfield. And he waves at that one. Here's the 2-2. Bounce toward White, can't get it, neither can Braswell. That's a base hit through the left side. And Evans is on his way to second base and he slides safely. To work it off the outside edge. Braswell cannot make the play. Now throws it back to third, but there is no tag attempt with a couple of home runs. Swing and a miss. Ackenhausen took something off that pitch in between a couple of strikeouts. He's first pitch swinging. He lifts it to very shallow center field. Paxton Kling is coming on, still coming on, and finally makes the catch. A big time moment for the Tigers. Swing and a miss. Malazzo cannot get to that ball in time. A run scores. Mackenhausen delivers. Bingham is under it. And the right hander brings it over the top and misses a five pitch pass. White rips it right back up the middle. Grabbed by the second baseman. Did they get there in time? No. A really good play by Curlin, but you see the shortstop a little bit late getting there is the foot. Oh boy, that is close. Play at second base. 
challenged by Florida. After further replay, the call in the field will be overturned to out. Very high, and the leadoff batter is aboard. Choice and struck out. He's 0 for 3. Bingham in left field is under it. There's the first out. Almost to the very end and letting it go. There's a check swing and a ground ball left side. Picked up by White. Transfers, throws. Out at first base. A liner to center field. This is down for a base hit. Paxton Kling comes up firing. It's cut off on the infield, and we've got a tie game. Ty Evans delivers a solid line drive to center field to score Wilson. When the first batter of the game or the inning gets on, he scores a little over 50% of the time. That number just went up in a really nice short stroke by Ty Evans right there. Just powers this ball out in center field. Caglione was the first batter that he might swing and miss it by a foot. That's okay. Travinsky lifts a fly ball to shallow center field. Russell is coming on. He's calling for it. He's got it. No, I can do it in between innings. Uh-oh. The wheels are turning in both dugouts. The 1-1. One, one. Hit right through the right side. The runner is on his way to third. So now the Tigers have some options. Ackenhausen delivers. And the pitch. The pitch. Chop to Milo. He bobbles it. Going to come to the plate anyway and gets the out. Ackenhausen. The 0-2. Here we go at 1-2. He struck him out. Ackenhausen battles and battles. He gets some help from Milam defensively at second base. Milam lifts it to left field. Shelna coming on. He's got plenty of time and plenty of room. It's a 1-2-3 inning. There's a smash into right field, a base hit. Boy, Ty Evans. She is the best all-arounder in the history of LSU, and we slam this one into deep right center field. It is carrying, 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 and it's gone. A two-run home run. The jackhammer smashes his 10th of the season and gives the Gators a lead for the first time since the third inning. Well, that's what he does right there, and he's barreled the ball up each of his last two times up, and this ball elevated just enough, and this is almost like a two-iron getting out of here. You talk about some exit velo, just powers it out, out to right center field. The second largest crowd in the history of LSU baseball at home. There's a base on balls the second time that Heyman, the one one to Curlin. Smashed high and deep. It's back at the wall, and it is caught out there by Mac Bingham. After Jake Brown appeared to be shaken up, he sends this high fly ball into the right field corner. Evans with a long, long, long run. He got it. Ryan Slater rocks and fires. Stee right three, and it appeared that Bingham knew it. Can Tommy White become a base runner? He chops this one up the middle. It's going to be a tough play for the second baseman. White legs it out. Tommy White. White off on the pitch. But the Tigers strike out of the hand and just worked off the outside part. And the pitch hit sharply to the shortstop. And there's the final out. Shelton over to Caglione, and the Gators complete the comeback.